The UWE St. Augustine campus is hoping to reduce the importation of seedlings used by farmers in the near future by helping them save their own genetic material. Speaking recently at the campus's first sustainable seeds of survival fair at the University Field Station in Mount Hope, Lecturer in the Department of Food Production, Dr. Wendy Ann Isaac, said she believes farmers rely too much on purchasing seeds from multinational corporations. She said she sees no reason why this country cannot produce material that they can use to replant. The patent genetic material, GM products, right? Um, so that we want to, 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 to kind of get out of that culture because we want our farmers to be able to save the genetic material right, through um, using OPs or open pollinated varieties that they could replant. Right? And, and these varieties, mind you, they are what is known as true to type. When you plant a hybrid variety and you save seeds from that, you don't get what is true to type. The Department of Food Production is also in the process of revitalizing its seed bank and library and is expected to cooperate with Jamaica to share genetic material soon. We, we have already laced with um, RADA in Jamaica and they will be sharing with us some of their genetic material and we, and, and we will share with them as well. So that is what it's all about, you know. Um, seed security is so important for food security. And um, what is also important is the fact that, you know, we want to build on this, um, on, on the whole resilience in, in the, in, in to, to, to climate change and to other natural disasters that we may face. The event was held to coincide with Earth Day and there are hopes to expand the fair to several markets throughout the country in the coming weeks.